Demons, Devils, and Blood War, oh my. Hello everyone, and welcome back down here to the Gamer's Den with me, your host, Jordan, your Master of Lore and Storyteller Extraordinaire, here to talk about demons, devils, and the differences between them. But before we get into all of that, if you're new here to the channel, go on down there, hit the subscribe button, and become a regular member here at the Gamer's Den. Or if you've already listed yourself on such a legendary roster of incredible heroes, then go on down, hit that like button, and share the video far and wide. But now let's talk about what's different between these two groups of outsiders, and a good place to start, although not the final one, is their alignments. Demons are of course chaotic evil beings of the abyss, created wholesale and whole cloth out of that chaos stuff, out of that raw abyssal material, also mortal souls. But then devils, devils are of the nine hells, originally part of the celestial forces of the upper planes of good and righteousness who succumbed to the war, brutality, and viciousness of the blood war that began before time was even a concept itself. And as such as they became corrupted and began wallowing in the misery of this war, they were cast out and down into the nine, nine layers of, of uh, hell. Now, from there, there's also more differences between the two. Even though they might both set up cults with the uh, goal of corrupting and subverting mortal souls and consigning them to their respective realms, they're going to vary in exactly how they do this. Devils, for example, because they depend on such a tyrannical, rigid, hierarchical structure, they are going to identify a mortal's weakness precisely and play on that through different sorts of reasons. Uh, they're going to bring them what they want and they're going to go, yeah, you earned this, buddy. You got this. I mean, clearly, I mean, look at this. I mean, they're cheating you out of your inheritance. They're obviously just no good. They're, they're poisoning your father. They've poisoned him. Are you really going to let them get away with that? Isn't it time for you to take justice into your own hands? Uh, well, as long as nobody finds out about it, it's not illegal. So just go ahead and go and take care of things yourself. And then, you know what? You've got the farm to yourself. You can restore honor to your family name. You can avenge your father. And all will be right with the world. And then, you know, after the contract is signed and that person's soul is definitely consigned to hell and they do the evil deed. Well, oh, shoot. Farm accident? You died in the fire? Well... Bye, buddy, you're going to be enjoying a lot more fire down in the different layers of hell. Whereas demons, demons are going to be stripping away all those laws, that modicum of behavior and decency, and getting people to play off of their base passions, those reactionary urges, those instinctive things, that brief moment of anger that you feel when somebody is just being an absolute jackass to you, the demon will fuel that and go, yeah, no, you don't need to hold that back screw that beat the snot out of that out of that dickhead go and tear them apart and they're going to get them to drop that facade of any sort of civilization and get them into that nihilistic furor playing off of all of those passions demons will want to destroy everything all of mortal kind all of existence the devils and then eventually themselves all will return to chaos and just flood into different states of being, unbeing, life, death, time, no time, all of these different things. So, a devil will look at societal structure and subvert it, but they'll twist it to their own designs. The, de the designs being making sure that the maximum number of souls are lawfully evil aligned and consigned towards the depths of hell, whereas demons are going to destroy it. They're just utterly going to destroy it. The only time that a devil will or a demon will not just outright destroy things is if they're being directed by a more powerful, older, wiser, more patient form of demon who is directing them to some larger, more long-term goal. That doesn't mean everything that they build will not eventually be destroyed, but eh, they will try to serve longer term designs. Just as an, as an example, let's take a combat encounter. Say we have some demons flitting around, something a bit stealth, a shadow demon. 
a shadow demon is moving around and is looking to flank. Uh, flank and also they're being directed to go and hit the spellcasters say a wizard they're, t they're supposed to go back and hit a wizard to keep them from really messing up the battlefield but they realize as they're moving ah that cleric just stepped over closer to where I'm at and ah he's of a partic particular deity a particular church that I want to just destroy they might forget to go and go after the wizard and just start tearing apart the cleric. Now, their overlords might be upset by this, but overall, you know what? He did shred that cleric. He did kill some mortals. Awesome. I'm going to kill him anyways later. Whatever. This is fine. It's maximum chaos on the battlefield, and they're going to try to flood with their overwhelming numbers and extra summons anyways. Devils, on the other hand, though... A devil will not step a toe out of line. They will not forget that they're supposed to be there to kill the wizard. They will skip the cleric and go to the wizard. In fact, like I mentioned earlier, the only time a devil will deviate from the plan is if it means supplanting their boss, sabotaging a rival, or killing off an underling looking to do the same to them. That's about the only time, and even then, it's still going to fit neatly within the larger overall scheme and overall plan, because if they're not getting rid of their boss, they want their boss to be happy, and they want their rivals to look bad, and their underlings to look like they're under control beneath them. And so it goes all the way down to the least of devil kind. Whereas, again, demons, demons aren't really worried about that. Demons will gather power, but they're not looking for any other long-term goal other than maximize destruction, whereas devils want everything to be maximally subverted and feeding all resources into hell. So those are the biggest differences right there, at least as far as roleplay goes. And you can even see some of this with... Uh, uh, just some of the lore that's behind these two different factions and in the blood war take the war well, with the blood war take invasions of hell this has to happen defend defending hell has to happen as the dem demons come in as angels come down as other forces make their incursions there but devils will take every pain and effort to make sure that these invasions do not happen in the first place or if they do that they're crippled to the maximum extent possible why because an outsider slain on its home plane is consigned to oblivion they're destroyed their their essence is dissipated gone and forever so rather than wait for the demons to come to them they'll go to the demons and fight them on the abyss the demons don't care i mean this is great somebody came to fight them but it means the invasion is crippled or ha doesn't quite have the same amount of numbers and any devils destroyed on the abyss they reform back in the nine hells and so it goes for any other plane of existence so they will try to fight anywhere else now they're not going to just needlessly fight to the death they'll look to try to save their own skins where possible and they'll use teleportation to maximum effect they'll use their different uh, summons although they might be loath to do that because they're essentially calling in favors to other devils who are definitely going to use that to their advantage later they'll still do it if it means maximizing maximizing their odds of victory another thing they'll do is that devils are immune to fire and poison whereas their demonic counterparts are only resistant to these things unless otherwise specifically noted so devils will wash any battlefield with fire and poison hoping to get the infinite num some of those infinite numbers to succumb to the flames to succumb to the poison while they're ripping them to shreds with their magics and their weaponry and for demons well demons will just use their maximized numbers and just swarm on in they'll have some tactics but they're more instinctive and rat reactionary whereas devils are meticulously planned out with precise formations turns maneuvers and they're going to try to pen in and use their superior mobility and number uh, and tactics to outflank outmaneuver and ultimately surround and destroy their enemies which is difficult to do when your enemies are essentially infinite. 
but these are just some of the general differences that will ideally help you to run demons and devils better in your own campaigns. Certainly there's a ton more that we could go over, there's just so much lore, it's a dense and rich history. Uh, at least within this, you know, fictional, various fictional settings and the like. But what do you think? Go on down to the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Did you like today's video? Did you dislike it? Either way, let me know and we'll engage in discussion down below. And remember, if you're new here to the channel, go on down there, hit the subscribe button, and become a regular member here at the Gamer's Den. But with all that said, I've been your host, Jordan, your master of lore and storyteller extraordinaire. Thank you all so very much for your time, and you all have yourselves a good night.